right, what's going on? You are listening to the Road to Ripped podcast, and we have a very, very special episode for you today. So special. I'm here with Christopher Walker. What's up, guys? And uh, this episode, uh, is we're going to be talking about boners. Yeah, boners. Boners. This is, this is fun stuff. <laughs> um, so actually, crazy enough, Chris, um, with Truth, Truth Nutra, one of the supplements he has is Redwood, and it's a supplement designed to improve your erections. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, so we're going to good for blood flow. So we're going to be so I'm going to pick his brain on this podcast and talk about what is the key to um to uh to making an effective uh boner supplement like a nat- well like a natural viagra essentially. Yeah. And uh I guess um for some people the supplement is for people that are having uh they're they're having issues in the bedroom, maybe they're they they they're not they're having a hard time getting it up, but then this can be used for the extra edge, right? Yeah, I mean it, there's the way I've seen it because like, you use redwood, right? Yeah, there's two types of people in this scenario, right? There's the people that need to fix something, mm-hmm. you know, something's broken to help use it to help help them fix whatever there is there. And then there's the optimizers, the op- another right. group is like where you just want to make sure that you don't ever have any problems again, and you're maximizing um, this scenario, right? Because if you already have healthy blood flow, but you can improve the blood flow a little bit, yeah, you know, you know a noticeable amount. And you know. it makes a big difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so so then what's going on? So so uh, so what's the key to making a uh, to uh, so let's just say if someone is having a hard time getting an erection, what's going on? Yep. Good question. So uh, for the most part, for most people that have difficulty with erections, uh, it comes down to the fact that your cardiovascular health is bad. It's it needs improvement, um, which just comes down to really you know blood flow and, and you know veins. Uh, a lot of people just have constricted veins. Uh, you see a, a symptom of this is like varicose veins, for example, uh, mm-hmm. which can manifest you know all over the body. Typically, you see them in legs, but one in five guys actually at some point in their life gets a develops a varicose vein on the left testicle, which is known as a varicocele. Uh, which is actually surprisingly common. Obviously, 20% of, of men statistically are going to have this at some point in their life, and it's an indicator of, of just poor blood flow in general. The problem with something like a varicocele is that it that it literally, that vein is wrapped around the testicle, and it will start to constrict, and it can be painful, annoying, um, embarrassing, uh, but also what it does is it chokes off testosterone production, which will make the issue even worse. Um, mm. Testosterone itself is also another... Uh, cause of erectile dysfunction outside of like low testosterone low testosterone yeah so right. you know if you have low testosterone your libido is going to be gone hmm. you're not going to have a libido or be extremely weak and the fact this that is why i don't like those low carb diets oh exactly a super low carb diet pff, yeah you go on some of those low carb forms and one of the things you see is like hey i'm on this low carb diet you know but uh i'm not horny <laughs> yeah, that is super common. I mean, shit, we've been seeing that. We've been around online for how many years? And, and like, that's like one of the most common things. 10 years we've been online yeah. seeing yeah. stuff like this. If, yeah, for 10 years. Before <laughs> the keto diet was big, whatever. And people literally are, they, it's like one of the most commonly emailed things that I get. I'm like, It's like, hey, I've been doing keto or paleo or whatever. I haven't mm-hmm. eaten carbs very much in like two years. But I have no sex drive. My testosterone is in the tank. My wife is pissed. You know, this is a really common thing. <laughs> I know. And some people, their answer is like, dude, just, just give them more time. Your body will adapt. Or, or you know, well, you're, the, you're, yeah. your sex drive is too high. This is what you want. Yeah. <laughs> or you, you want more estrogen. Yeah, so your to- toxic masculinity goes away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then, so then the, the testosterone comes into play. Um, but then, uh, so then... The poor blood health, the, uh, the, the poor, poor, sorry, blood flow. Yeah. And so these are like the two, the, basically the combo of this is essentially what's going to happen because the people that have uh, poor blood flow and poor, mm. poor circulatory health are in general, um, you're overweight anyway. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's one of the reasons why you, you run into a problem like that. I saw a, st- a statistic that um, 74% of people in the U.S. right now mm. are considered overweight. 74 percent yes so, so two-thirds basically three-fourths uh, three-fourths yes yeah. right three-fourths yeah yeah so statistically like it's safe to to assume that that um you know 
when you're overweight, you're going to have issues with this, but it's safe mm-hmm. to assume that's probably the cause of the whole the issue. Mm-hmm. Your body's not able to properly produce nitric oxide at, when you're when you're overweight like that. Intr- do, you, do you you know why or um, just just to I'm actually not sure it's just yeah. one of the yeah side effects. I mean there's a tons of negative effects of being overweight. Your body's just yeah. not working optimally. Your body just doesn't work. Doesn't work optimally. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and that's why a lot of diabetics end up having problems with uh, getting like fungal infections in their legs and their feet. Uh, I've seen several diabetics throughout my life that, like just that I've known personally have to get their feet amputated. Um, mm-hmm. There's they have they start to have problems with blood flow. You get a lot of uh, the varicose veins in the legs, and it's uh, it comes down to one of the easiest ways to fight against that. Even if you're if you're in this state right now, like if you're overweight, if you're having problems with blood flow, uh, maybe your extremities are really cold. Um, you're starting to notice this. Uh, taking something like redwood is actually beyond just helping with your boners. It's going to help. And women can take this too. It's not something that's just like, you're not going to get a boner. <laughs> it's physically impossible, but it's going to help mm-hmm. with, with the, your blood flow in general to uh, all areas of your body because it helps to produce more nitric oxide in your body. Right. And so it can be a good way to kind of kickstart and build that, that, um, you know, healthy blood flow back into things. And we've had people since we released Redwood, we've had people emailing in, Hey, I mean, I don't know what's going on, but this got rid of my varicose veins. Right. Like they went away because they, they were taking the recommended dose twice a day and you know, once in the morning. And it got that, it got that kind of that, that vasodilation kick in the blood was function or the body's functioning better. The blood was moving. And then all of a sudden that, that circulation manifested and improved the issue. Yeah, exactly. So I want to bring to light another thing that that's kind of, cause you know, we, we might have a lot of listeners that are younger, maybe they're relatively fit, but there's, you, you still hear a lot of stories of guys, uh, younger guys having issues with this too. Yeah. And a lot of times it's more of like a psychological thing, but, um, that's like probably it, the exi- other, yeah. The other cause of it, I would say outside of something like a low car, low calorie diet, yeah. or like when you're in a big deficit for a long time, is anxiety or something, performance, anxiety, performance, yeah. anxiety, um, porn addiction, porn, right. Porn, porn addiction, addiction yeah. would be a big one. But even um, in these two cases, if you have porn addiction, if anxiety, um, even something like this can also help give you that little mental edge. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If you know, if you, yeah, exactly. Like if you have something that, that'll ease your mind so you, so you can get rid of that anxiety, because I think a lot of the performance anxiety would come from when someone had like a guy do, they don't know like they're just like rolling the dice. I don't know if this is gonna work or not tonight. <laughs> you know, uh, let's, you know. Oh, okay, it works. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. You don't want to have to roll the dice in a situation like that, right? Well, I, I know girls that they've had they they they've people are comfortable around me. I know girls that they've had times where they hook it up with a guy and then they you know and they, they they couldn't get it going or whatever and it's like it, oh, yeah. for the girl the girls get really. They're like, what? Am I not hot enough? Oh yeah, don't try to me. Yeah. And so the girls get really, <laughs> they get really, they get it, it hurts them a lot. And then, and then also for guys that maybe if a guy is drinking a lot and then he's not as, yeah, that can also, yeah, the just, redwood could be helpful there too. Yeah, if, if you, uh, well, plus it's a uh, like the, in the ingredients redwood. I mean, one of the most potent antioxidants at a really high dose, so it's going to help with combating that negative stress from the drinking. Yeah, on the body. Well, I, I know for my body, like if I. Like I have a very high sex drive, but if I have like, if I'm in Vegas and I do, but after about three days of heavy drinking, like it's it like I'm functioning at 50% capacity. Oh yeah. Cause your body's <laughs> just func- stressed out. It's stressed out. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like at like 50%, you yeah. know? And, uh, and so, uh, yeah. So heavy drinking is actually, is actually, uh, you know, is, um, is not helpful for this. But, uh, but so, I mean, I guess I just wanted to like kind of paint the picture of, all these different uh, camps where, where people can fall into. Maybe they're overweight, their, their, their blood circulation is off, so then this can be helpful. Maybe someone's really anxious or nervous, and then they're in their head, and then be, when you're anxious, what happens is your body's in like a fight or flight state. Your body kicks up adrenaline, and adrenaline when, you, when your adrenaline's high, it kind of counteracts that whole relaxed viso, vi, vasodilation. Yeah, in the, in, in the reproductive function like right. obviously if you're in a fight or flight mode you know you don't want reproduction is the last thing on your body's <laughs> list right that's it's why a, people don't get boners playing sports or fighting well that's part of the reason why yeah. the keto keto diet starts to lead to erectile dysfunction because it keeps your body in a stressed out state like that. oh wow yeah that makes sense yeah um and After, then, over time i'm sure when people are like overweight and they start eating oh, we can do another episode on the keto diet i got a lot i got some opinions yeah but yeah, so, for, so you want to be relaxed. You want to have that that confidence that you know, like you, you can ha- have no problems with this. Like on demand, mm-hmm. you can be ready to go. 
And uh, a lot of that just comes with uh, having your hormonal health in check and your cardiovascular health in check. Yeah. So being able to produce enough nitric oxide on demand, like my body's fine, my my blood flow is healthy. And if a guy's listening, maybe he's had struggle stuff, he's struggled with this or whatever. If you're if you're if you're mental, if you're thinking like, oh my god, I hope I can get a boner tonight, you're not gonna get a boner. I know. It, it <laughs> you, just, you gotta like not yeah. care at all. Yeah. Well, the thing is too about this is I don't want people to have like this unrealistic expectation about redwood. Yeah. Redwood is not viagra it's not like this unnatural robo boner thing that that triggers a boner within 20 minutes of taking it it's mm -hmm. not like it's just this unstoppable like you know this fucking baseball bat that like, just <laughs> pops up and start whacking <laughs> shit with it it's yeah. it's uh it's more of a system that like helps work with your body to if you're taking it regularly then you get rid of the problem at, at the root of the problem something like mm -hmm. viagra is not it's a it's band-aid right it's, it doesn't actually mm -hmm. get rid of the issue it doesn't do anything for the original issue. It just is like, oh, I need this right now. But something like Well, Viagra was initially invented for a completely different issue. Yeah, I heard this story. Yeah. It, they, yeah, they're giving it to all these heart, their heart patients, and then all their heart patients were getting all these boners. I'm like, huh. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't give it back. They were like, they, they, they wouldn't give over the extras at the end, and they wanted more of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I heard another story, too, of... Uh, um, they they started giving so there was these pandas in the in a zoo in china and they wouldn't mate with each other like when i guess pandas are like endangered species or whatever mm -hmm. they they wouldn't mate with each other they're trying to get these pandas to mate <laughs> and so they were shy they were like too shy these pandas <laughs> <laughs> and they gave them viagra <laughs> and they all started mating with each other I love, that's hilarious <laughs> really true story yeah, eh? yeah. That's so. F that's funny to think of like two, like animals being like very obsequious and shy and like oh I don't want to <laughs> because they could have given them alcohol. Well, alcohol would have worked too. Creepy zookeepers are standing there watching them. Like, I know. Like come on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why don't why don't you mate with each other? Like, yeah, bro, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave us alone and we'll. Yeah. Maybe it's because they weren't in their they were in an artificial habitat, so they were like all weirded out. You know. Yeah. I mean, they're in some lame zoo. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But anyway, so the, the idea, I mean, okay, so Redwood, let's talk, let's talk about just the ingredients mm -hmm. in general. And I'm not saying you have to take Redwood to get these effects, but Redwood happens to be the most, uh, the way that we designed it, like the most reasonably priced way. If you were to buy all these ingredients separately, they're going to be more expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the cool things, like, came across this study um, through my friend Ali, who uh, found that, it, basically they found that when they combined two super common ingredients, mm -hmm it actually boosted nitric oxide production instantly by 200%. Come on. Yeah. And those Damn. ingredients are vitamin C and garlic. Garlic extract? Yeah. So wow. instead of like having to eat a ton of oranges and eat a bunch of garlic, which you mm -hmm. don't want to eat a bunch of garlic before, you know, date night or whatever. I love garlic. <laughs> well, I do too. It's <laughs> yeah. freaking good. Yeah. I, yeah. But it's true. You don't want to be but yeah. pounding garlic all day long. And, but it's also like garlic and vitamin C are really, really good for your immune system. Mm. And uh, Zach and I were actually talking about this earlier today. It's like, you know, anytime Zach feels like cold coming on, he pounds like six capsules of redwood and the cold goes away. There's like, no, he doesn't get sick. But that's like another just a added benefit. Mm -hmm. But when you combine the right dosage, which is actually a pretty high dosage of both of them, uh, which we have in redwood, the exact dose, uh, when you combine them together, it, boom, nitric oxide production, like just crushing it. And uh, there's another couple ingredients we included in there, horse chestnut extract, which is awesome. Well, why horse flow. chestnut? Really good uh, research on it for blood flow, getting rid oh. of varicose veins. Horse um, chestnut. What's a horse chestnut? It's something. It's like in. It, I think it's native to the UK. Hmm. It's like some some nut that grows on a tree. Yeah. Uh, but when you take the extract, I don't think you can eat them. Like physically eat these mm -hmm. nuts, but that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but when you take the extract. The extract is actually really good, and there's a lot of research in humans proving that it can get rid of the varicose veins. And then uh, we added pine bark extract, pycnogenol, uh, which also has really good research showing, you know, for, for adding like, really good blood flow, vein health benefits. So when this is taken, it's supposed to be taken every 12 hours for the best effect, um, just one serving every 12 hours. To maintain the high levels of nitric oxide. Yeah, for, for the best effect. Obviously, someone could take it once a day, but it'll be even more powerful if you're taking it mm -hmm. twice a day um, and you're not going to get sick either like 
So the, so the extra benefit is that you're going to you improve your blood flow, improve your vasodilation, your nitric oxide, so you get nice pumps in the gym. When, you, when you're aroused, you're going to get much faster blood flow, stronger, stronger, bigger erections now. <laughs> What's uh, that Kanye West? Harder, what? Harder, faster, better, stronger. <laughs> Hunger, faster, better, stronger. <laughs> and then you're also going to boost your immune system, you know? Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. So that's, so those are the three ingredients to use to that's really, four, yeah. uh, what was the last one? It was a pine bark extract. Oh, the pine bark. What's the yeah. pine bark for? Uh, blood flow. There's a lot so of so you got yeah. four ingredients to kind of, to all used together can maximize like the blood flow. Yep, exactly. And, and so that's all, that's Redwood. That's the Redwood formula right there. Dude, I don't know why you haven't given me some, man. Dude, I'll send you a box. You should be coming, send me a few boxes, yeah. man. I'll send you a box. Dude, I, you know, it, that's You'll fun stuff, Shit man. Works. You notice, yeah. you notice it, it is, even when you're like an optimizer, you're going to notice. Dude, it. I want to be an optimizer, you know, hell yeah. And, uh. Also, so another, so outside of Redwood, and Redwood's over at troopsneutral.com for those Spe of you. Especially if you're, you're, you know, it's the weekend, you've been drinking a lot, you want to, you want to. Restore some function. You want to maximize your, you know, just slam Redwood on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning and afternoon. Yep. <laughs> slam that Redwood. Yep. And then, so. <laughs> and another... then you won't get sick on the weekend, because the weekend people get sick, you know, because they're out, they're around so many new people, they're drinking this and that. Staying up late, not Staying up late, yeah. so then. Do the I'm gonna do the Redwood weekends. I'm gonna create my own little my own little plan. I'm gonna Monday to Thursday I'm gonna go no Redwood, so my body's not used to it. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm gonna, or, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday I'm gonna go ham on it. Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I'm gonna go to test strategies. All right, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then so another another ingredient that's interesting is, and I did a video on my YouTube channel on this with uh, watermelon was L citrulline. Mm -hmm. So citrulline, um, it's also one of the main ingredients in our pre-work at Kino Octane. You know, yeah. you guys can pre-order it. Um, it might actually be, it might, we might actually have some right now, depending yeah. on when you listen to this. But you can go to uh, kinonutrition.com. Yep. And yeah, the, the L citrulline is super powerful yep. too. Yeah. So if you really want to have a potent experience, then <laughs> combining the two of those. So here, so here's what you do. So wash it down with some it, Redwood. So when it's Friday, Saturday night, and you're ready to have a fun night, you know. You know, just just drink like three to six pills of redwood with a little orange juice, <laughs> and oh, yeah. then, and then and mix in some octane. Then get get a few shots of tequila, put in a big glass, add a c scoop or two of Kino Octane. Yeah. Fill it up with some water, mix it up, and you drink that, and you will be a stud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For anyone who wants to, t like, if you don't believe that the vitamin C and garlic thing works. You don't have to even, don't even use Redwood. Try drinking a, an entire jug of orange juice. Mm -hmm. Like get some organic good orange juice, drink a whole jug of that, and take some garlic pills. Wow. And see what happens. I, or just eat trust a me. clove, eat a big chunk of garlic. What, yeah, if you what, can stomach that, yeah. You know what, I did, if I, if I, you know what's actually good? If you get a little pan with some coconut oil, oh, cut yeah, up some garlic and oh, fry totally it on there. It the, oh, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I eat that by itself. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. But you know what? For me, like, I'd rather take something like like uh, Redwood just because I want to. If I'm gonna hit all that vitamin C, I don't want to have to drink like 400 calories of juice. Oh you know? yeah, it's even more than that. If you're gonna get, yeah, get so the same amount of vitamin C, you, I, gotta, I'm you more, gotta drink like a whole liter. Of I try not to drink two liters. Drink calories, you know? Cause, yeah. So I'd rather hit some Redwood. Yeah. Our cat Bentley. He's, he's back. Give me Redwood. <laughs> Our little cat's coming over here. He wants some Redwood. Here he's, he comes. Meow, meow, meow. He wants some redwood. Don't worry about him. He is very vocal. He's very vocal. Okay, Chris, you Maybe man the singing. You man the show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this cat out of here. What do you want? <laughs> All right, guys. So there you have it. That is the best way to get, you know, natural uh, erections. While actually getting rid of the issue in the first place, like the reason why you have erectile dysfunction, um, Bentley approves. He agrees. This is the best way. And <laughs> Bentley agrees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you aren't subscribed to the Road to Ripped podcast, and where do they go to buy some redwood? Uh, at truthnutra.com. Truthnutra.com. We have redwood. We have a lot. You know, we're not going to sell out. Um, there's plenty. There's plenty. Yeah, I get a lot of that stuff in the in the. Uh, it's one of the warehouse. most popular ones. Yeah. And People also, if you guys uh, enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a review and say, 
boner episode was the best episode ever. <laughs> Boom shakaloom. Say great, great podcast. Make sure to listen to the boner episode. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Oh, Thanks man. for listening. All right. See you guys.